Library time friends from the Osceola Library System. I'm Ms. Lisa with the West Osceola Library, and I'm here with Ms. Crystal from the St. Cloud Library. Good morning, my friends. It's so great to see your faces. And Ms. Susan from the Buenaventura Lakes Library. Hey, everybody. Happy to see you guys. And this week, we will be celebrating Black History Month. So are you ready? Let's get started. We're going to start with our Hello Friends song, and we're going to do our sign language to go with it. All right, and we'll do two times. So it goes, Hello Friends. Hello Friends. Hello Friends. It's time to say hello. Hello Friends. Hello Friends. Hello Friends. It's time to say hello. Thanks for joining us today. And we can't start our story time without our glasses. So can you take your hands and make two circles and put up for your glasses? These are going to be your glasses. And then we can put our hands together and we're going to make a book. And wonder what's going to be in this book. I think it might be some pretty flowers. Ooh. <gasps> It's a cute little puppy, my favorite. All right, are you ready? These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. Good job, everybody. And speaking of books, I have a book for you today. And it's called Ruby Bridges Goes to School. And Ruby Bridges is a very famous little girl from a long time ago. I'm going to learn a little bit about her. So, and it was written by Ruby Bridges. A long time ago, some people thought that black people and white people should not be friends. In some places, Black people were not allowed to live in the same neighborhood as white people or go to the same school or eat in the same restaurants. That doesn't sound very fair, does it? But the United States government said segregation is wrong. That's what they called that segregation because they kept them apart. People should live where they want. People should eat where they want. And children should go to school where they want. Well, little Ruby Bridges used to go to a school that was for black children. But there was a school for white children that was much closer to her house. So when she was in kindergarten, she went to the school that was for the black children. But in the first grade, her mom wanted her to go to the, the school that was for the white children because it was much closer to her house. And her mother decided to put her into that school. And you can see right there, there are some marshals. And marshals are like police people. And they are... Um, they are to make sure that Ruby was safe because a lot of people weren't very happy. And there were people outside protesting and angry people yelling at her. And a lot of the moms and dads took their kids out of the schools. So poor Ruby was in school all by herself with her teacher, Mrs. Henry. And Mrs. Henry came every day and taught Ruby and Ruby was there learning and learning. But she was a little sad because she was lonely. There was no one there with her. But after a few months, some of the kids started to come back, and Ruby made friends with them, and she had a good time in school. And now, today, Ruby is still friends with Mrs. Henry, and Ruby goes to schools around the country, and she talks to people about her experience and how black children and white children um, can go to the same school and how they can be friends. And the most important thing that she tells them is to be kind to each other. So that's my story about Ruby Bridges. And she was a very brave little girl who changed history. And if you like this book and want to learn more about Ruby Bridges, come into the library and check it out. 
And now Miss Crystal has something for you. What's up with you, Miss Crystal? Hi guys, I have a couple stories for you, but my first one is a folder story and it's called Yesterday I Had the Blues. Now, can you guys help me with colors today? Yeah, you know my colors? Yes, yeah. I see you guys there. Yeah, all right. Yesterday I had the blues. You see my blues here? I had those deep down in my shoes. Then go away, son. Quit smiling at me, blues. That's right. You see the blue? Let's see. Can you guys tell me what the next color is? Oh, that's right. But today I got the greens. The my hand running along the hedges greens. The kind of greens that make you want to be somebody. That's right, green. Let's see if you guys can see the next color. Oh, that's kind of a hard one. That is gray. Daddy says he's got the grays, the lines between his eyes grays, looking at his watch grays. The kind that you don't ask for a new skateboard till tomorrow, Grays. Oh, poor daddy. The Grays sound terrible. What's that color, guys? Is that pink? That's right. My sister Sash says she's got the pinks. The shiny tights, the ballerina after school, glitter on her cheek pinks. Those kind of pinks make me want to catch the next bus. <gasps> but I bet you there's a bunch of you guys who like the pinks. Yeah. Now this might seem like it's the same color at first, but this is indigo. Now my Aunt Talia says she's got the indigos. But I said indigo is the same as blue and Talia says, uh-uh. She's got the saxophone and the subway indigos, the hair hanging loose. Can you guys shake your head? Yeah, hair shaking loose. Write a poem that don't rhyme, indigos. Oh, great job, guys. All right, what's this color? Can you tell me? This is great for Florida. Oh, yes, yellow. Grant's got the yellows, I can tell because she's a humming. <laughs> Can you guys hum too? Yeah. Humming that parade song, mixed up some oatmeal raisin cookies yellow. I love oatmeal cookies. Do you guys like oatmeal cookies too? Yeah. Uh-oh, what color is that? Mama says she's got the reds. And when you see red with mama, uh-oh, look out. One more color. <gasps> Can you guys see all of those? Right. Yeah, yesterday I had the blues. Today I might have the greens. Tomorrow, maybe the silvers. And the rocket powered skateboard silvers. And around here, any way you feel is okay. Because together, we got something that'll never change. We have family. The kind of family that makes you feel all golden, like the stars in the sky. That's right. I hope you guys like that. Yeah? Did you guys notice all the colors? Yeah? Wow. All right. Now, I have a story for you. And it was written by Ty Diggs. Yes. And the author is Shane Evans. And it's called Mixed Me. That's right. Open it up here. Now, this book is published by Macmillan Publishing. And they gave us permission, special permission, just to be able to read this book to you guys. So let's see. Let's get started. I'm going to hold it up so you guys can see all the beautiful pictures and Mike's beautiful hair. Can you guys see Mike's hair there? All right. Hey, now, they call me Mixed Up Mike. My hair is like, wow, so big. You see how big Mike's hair is? But it's super crazy, fresh, cool, man. 
Yeah. And looky, there's the sun. Like it shines here in Florida. I love it. Yeah. All right. I like to go fast. No one can stop me as the wind comes through my zigzag curly do. Even with my hair straight, it still flows through my hair. Does the wind flow through your hair today too? It's really windy outside. Yeah. My daddy says, what's happening, Captain? And I just say hi and bye. He's in a hurry today. But do you see he's got a cape on? I would love to make a cape like that too. Makes me feel like Supergirl. Hey, sweet boy, sweet pie, honey boo, my mom coos. She's my one and only. Oh, she's never lonely. I say hi and bye and quickly go on my way. You guys see a super secret pet right there? I do. The little puppy dog right there. You see the little puppy? Yeah. He reminds me of my dog. Sometimes when we're together, people stare at whatever. I think they're staring at my super cool dog because he has a cape too. You see the cape? Yeah, super dog to the rescue. Oh, let's see if you guys can see this one. Your mom and dad don't match, they say, and scratch their heads. I don't understand that. I see that picture there. Oh, I think somebody's full of love. See, my dad's a deep brown and my mom's a rich cream and honey. Then people see me and they look at us kind of funny. Ah, I don't see anything funny about that. I love his hair. Ah. My mom says I'm a blend of dark and light. And we mixed you perfectly and got you just right. Look at all of his friends. He's got boyfriends. He's got girlfriends. And they're selling juice. I can't wait to have friends like that. Oh, and he plays, he plays baseball and basketball and soccer too. There are so many flavors to savor and taste. Why pick only one color or face? Why pick only one race? Some kids at school want me to choose who I cruise with. I'm down for fun with everyone. So why should I only pick one? I pick all of you because you guys are all my friends today. I'm a combo plate. Garden salad, rice and beans, tasting great. Oh, oh, but just wait. I wonder what's next. Uh oh, do you guys like this? And if they care too much about my hair too much, that it's not straight enough, I say, it's my hair. Don't touch. Oh, do you guys go get haircuts? Yeah, I see some shorter hair guys there. I think Miss Crystal might need a hair trim. Do you guys think I need to trim my hair a little bit? Yeah, Miss Susan, what about you? Do you think you need your hair trim too? Yeah. Everybody do well for a nice little trim. I'm going to do my thing, so don't forget it. If you don't get it, then you know what? You just don't get it. Uh-huh. I said it. Let's see here if I can see that. You guys see that picture right there? He's even got a super helmet on right there. Yeah. Give it a little closer there. I love it. He's got stickers and things on it. And his hair's even poking out of it. My hair pokes out of my hat all the time. I'm a beautiful blend of dark and light. I was mixed up perfectly and I'm just right. Do you guys see what I see? Do you guys see that right there? 
I'm going to bring it closer. <gasps> Miss Susan's got a craft to show you how to make one of those. Do you know what that is? That's a stoplight. That's right. <gasps> I was so excited. We get to make a stoplight. They call me Mixed Up Mike, but that name should be fixed because I'm not mixed up. I just happen to be a little mixed. That's right. And they call me, let me see if I can get a better picture. Can you guys see that really well? There we go. Mixed me. That's right. There we go. And I love the fact on the back, you guys see all of those? There's all kinds of different juice boxes and things. When we get juice boxes, they have all kinds of mixed flavors that we like. What's your favorite? My favorite, I like cranberry and black cherry juice. That's my favorite juice. All right, we're gonna send it over to Miss Susan now to show you guys an awesome craft with a stoplight. Thank you, Miss Crystal. That was such a nice story. I didn't realize there was a stoplight in the story. So this is the craft and it is a stoplight, kind of. Um, you can move these back and forth and you can get all the colors, red, green, and yellow. And all you have to do is cut out the circles on the black paper, glue the colored circles in behind, and then the uh, pieces to cover up, you fix them on with a brad. And then here's some um, facts about Garrett Morgan, who was the inventor of the three color stoplight. And it works pretty good. Goes up and down. And I have a little song to sing with you to help you to remember what the different colors on the stoplights mean, on the traffic lights. Do you know what they mean? Do you know what red means? What does red mean? Stop. And green means go. And yellow means slow. So the song is to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I'll sing it two times so that you can hear it once and maybe sing with me. It goes twinkle, twinkle, traffic light. On the corner, shining bright. Red means stop. Green means go. Yellow means drive very slow. Twinkle, twinkle, traffic light. On the corner, shining bright. Do you want to sing it with me? I can see your, yeah, I can see if you're singing. Let's sing it. Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, traffic light on the corner, shining bright. Red means stop. Green means go. Yellow means drive very slow. Twinkle, twinkle, traffic light on the corner shining bright yay that was so much fun but you know what T today it was good story time but now it's time for us to go we have to say goodbye for today so wave them high and wave them low because now it's time for us to go. Wave your elbows and wave your toes. Now don't forget to wave your nose. <laughs> Can you guys wave your chins? Yeah. Can you wave your eyes? There you go. Now let's wave our hands. Can you guys wave goodbye? It was great to see all of you today. Yes, it was.